Samsung S95D, Hellblade 2. Here we are, gonna talk about what we're seeing here as requested. Now I've got some sneezes that keep coming here and there, so if I sneeze throughout the video, do forgive me. But I'll just tell you like this, this is the best game mode I have ever seen on the S95D, and it is incredible when I compare it to any of the other TVs I've seen. And the biggest reason is because game mode actually gives us access to the full screen brightness that we would see in HDR. So we're getting upwards of over 2100 nits in game mode, which is insane. And this is SDR, by the way. Now, the thing that really impresses me about Hellblade 2 off the rip, they've got cutscene quality in game. It is mind blowing. And like the rock detail, the draw distances, like everything like normally we get some really bullshit rocks we've got puddles that make sense rain droplets in the puddle like the whole world actually feels alive feels like i'm playing through a cgi movie honestly doesn't feel like i'm playing a video game at all feels like this is like a like one of those interactive movies where you just you're using a controller to go through the interactive movie experience that's how like photo realistic this shit is like the water right now is like insane Okay, are we gonna go down or what? Do we run? What do we do? Like, is there a run button? That's the targeting button. Mm. Oh, there you go. We can run. Okay, left bumper. Oh, not that way, apparently. All right, make haste. Move your ass. Let's go. No, oh, he's dead. Man, it looks good. It looks really good. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to like shimmy our way through. Mm. Okay, where are we going now? So this chick's got voices in her head or what? Now it's going to be really dark and kind of hard to see on camera, and I do apologize for that for those who are trying to see a lot more detail. The opening of this game is just really dark, which does kind of suck. Okay. <clears throat> what the hell are we supposed to do with this? Do I press A or X or... What the hell am I supposed to do with this shit? Oh shit. <clears throat> Damn, look at this detail, though. Mm. Okay. A lot of talking. Can we play the game or what? Like, damn. Okay. So, like, what the hell? your story is that all just for a story i wasted all that time man they need a waypoint or some shit this is ridiculous it's a gorgeous game but i want to actually play the fucking thing okay so i guess we're gonna fight then Yeah, let's see if he kills me. Fuck. Why not? Be careful. Oh, not a stealth mission. That's the worst way to open a video game. So let me get this straight. After, like, making me weak as fuck, and I'm limping around, now I can't even get a sword? Well, I guess we're supposed to go that way. That's just kind of obvious. I still don't see any weapons, though. 
Okay. Wh where are we actually supposed to go, though? Because, like, I hate running around in circles trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. I mean, but I, I can't lie. The game is so damn photorealistic. <laughs> the cave. Okay, so right now this feels like a running simulator. All it feels like I'm doing is just running around an open world. Like, I wasn't aware I, br I bought, like, track simulator. What the fuck? Uh. So... This chick has got issues. She's got a lot of issues. Oh my gosh, most of this is me just running. Like, the, the rocks were impressive, like, the first, like, five minutes, and now they're just annoying. I'm like, okay, I'm running through rocks very slowly, and mountains and all that shit. Okay, fantastic. Um, where the hell is the gameplay? Come on, now. This is so slow. What the fuck? So she's got something in her head, playing tricks on her mind or something. I mean, mm -hmm. she's bugging. Okay, so. Look for what sign? You kooky chick? No, I don't know where to look. What the fuck? Is that a sign? I mean, we've seen a bunch of symbols everywhere. This is kooky. It's vibrating, but I don't know why or where. This is like schizophrenia the game. It's like, have you ever wanted to be a crazy person? Okay. I literally feel like I'm like coming from the perspective of like someone who's not mentally like unstable and crazy watching what it would be like to have legitimate voices in your head and like that's uh. so we're marooned on an island and we're running around for over eight minutes now zero actual combat and zero gameplay outside of running and panning the camera in the direction you're running that is a lot of wasted time I don't think I needed to run this much. <laughs> so far, it's definitely just a running simulator. So what, she's like a leader or some shit? I don't know. This is like mad boring though. What the hell? Nope, I went the wrong way trying to follow stupid shadows. <clears throat> Hmm. Honestly, what the hell, man? Mm hmm. So, what do we have to go in the water, or do we not go in the water? No, you don't go in the water. Where the hell do you go? This game is already irritating me. Do I climb over the rocks that are white? 
Do I squeeze through? Yeah, you squeeze through. I mean, shit, man. Where are the prompts to tell you this stuff? Irritating. <clears throat> All right, so what the fuck? He's just beating our ass or what? All right, he's dead. No getting out of that one. Okay, so we finally got a sword. I mean, we had to get our ass kicked for that to happen. How do we swing this fucking thing? Do you not do you not swing swords? I guess I'll have to wait to swing the sword. That's stupid. Oh, I can swing the sword. Nice. Okay, very nice. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's kind of fun. We need more of that. I want like 20 of them at one time. That's that's fun. One was not challenging enough. That was kind of lame. I mean, it was a running simulator until I, like, offed one guy in this game, and now I'm just kind of like, what the hell? Well, shit. Okay, so we're definitely Vikings. Or some shit. Oh, man, and the cuts appear very sharp and... Oh, he's dead. Hmm... That is fucking exhilarating. I'm not gonna lie. Hacking them up in this game is a lot of fun. Oh, I hear people coming from this angle over here. Oh, he cut an axe in the back. He's dead. Can we just go around this man? Like, I don't care that he's dead. Wasting my time on somebody who's no longer in the land of the living. Get the fuck out of here with that. Let's go, Sinoa. Okay. You could bite him, too. I mean... Mm. Oh, yeah. That had to hurt. Oh, yeah. So, this is basically like... The Viking female version of Rise, Son of Rome. And that's what this feels like a lot right now. Especially, like, with how good the visuals are. Mm-hmm. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? It's gonna be really dark. You guys aren't gonna be able to see right now, but... We're crawling on the floor like a bunch of rats. For whatever reason. <clears throat> this girl is out of her mind. So there's like a tiny little combat part in the beginning. Now we're stuck with her fighting demons inside of this boat. They don't tell you to press the A button to push things around. They let you figure out every aspect of the gameplay on your own. Which, I don't like. I mean, you built the game, just tell me how to do it. Damn. It's not like it's particularly hard, and it wouldn't have killed you to be like, press the A button. But I guess, they're going for like the whole, like, this is a movie vibe. But, um, hello guys, you built a video game. I don't know if they needed to hear that from anybody, but, um, they built a video game. I expect to see prompts for the buttons and how to play it. They should give two modes, you know, like one for like cinematic mode where you don't have any cut or any prompts or anything, no UI mode or whatever you want to call it. And then you have one where it's like, hey, traditional or classic mode where, you know, you have buttons and everything is fine because when they start talking, you think you're in a cutscene because of how good the game's graphics are, which is great. But then at the same time, it gets annoying because you're like, um, what do I do next? Because I'm just sitting here waiting for this cutscene to end, and it's not really a cutscene. It's just an annoying part of the game. Ah. Gaming. So, like, when do we make it out of this? 
She's going through it though, man. This girl can't catch a break. What, now we're taking themes out of Tomb Raider or something? Stuck underwater and you gotta get out? Am I supposed to know how to do that? Because so help me, if I'm supposed to know how to do that, and y'all ain't teaching me how to do that, that'd be messed up. Okay. Finally, we get to a normal part where we see some normal colors and brightness, kind of. It's all still this crappy gray color, but still. Okay, so... Again, brightness of this TV is amazing. That I love. But I don't love running around in a running simulator. It's like, damn, this whole opening act is really quite terrible. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's just injured, right? Did you just... Oh, is there like a parry or some shit? How do I parry? Oh, I'm about to die, aren't I? Oh, shit. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, shit. He means business. And I don't know how to block. Oh, oh shit. I don't know how to block. You fuckers could give me prompts, man. Do I really have to die because you don't tell me how to play your fucking game? I gotta figure it out the hard way. You guys suck. How hard would it be to tell me how to parry? I still don't know how to parry. Oh, okay. Oh, another one. Good. Eh, kill him. Oh, we're, we're just slugging each other, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I did something. I don't know what that was. It, it deflected the sword a little bit. Okay, that was definitely a knockback. Get off me, bro. What are you doing? Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna jack you up, bro. Yeah, you're not going home to mama. Alright, next. Okay, so apparently we're running this way in the direction of what looks to be absolutely nothing. Okay, so we're supposed to go through this. I mean, damn, this is such a long opening act for no reason. And there's nobody there. This chick needs to lay off the acid, man. Shit. So is he like the final boss of this level? Slave? Who you calling a slave? Them's fighting words. What are you going to do with that sword? Looks ready for you. He's ready to fight. You're ready. We will end this. You're fucking dead. <laughs> No oh, shit, I should have blocked that. Oh, oh okay, kind of, nope. All right, there we go, we kind of can do a little something something now. I'm not quite as useless as before. Oh, what? How does he have that on my neck? That's some bullshit. No, I'm not gonna let you hit me like that. Okay, and well, then we'll just do fast strikes. Yo, he's like mad cocky too. Look at this guy. He's like laughing at you as you're like striking. He's literally laughing like something's funny. Oh! Nope. Nope. Get out of here with that trash. Quick strikes, heavy strike. Yeah. Yeah, if 
for you, maybe. Okay. Oh, shit. Nope. Damn. Damn. They made him so overpowered for no reason. They do realize, like, this is the opening boss, right? Well, I did say it wasn't challenging enough, and I wanted, like, five of these guys, so at least it's a little bit more of a challenge, but damn. He's giving me, like, mad, like, rapist vibes for sure. Talking about how he's enjoying this. It's creepo. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. This man is tripping. Well, of course. Damn, he's beating the hell out of this girl. It is like watching a lion fucking play with a mouse right now, the way he's beating her ass. Can we, like, impale this creep already? Because, like, seriously. Damn. So is that it? We're done? That's all we could manage? Get up and do what? We did our best and he still beat our ass, so what are we supposed to be doing differently? Getting our asses beat twice as hard or what? You ready to fight? Grab it. You got rocks there. Thank you. Finally. Please tell me that was a rock you picked up. Because I was about to say. There we go. Hit him. Don't stop. Oh, come on. Finish him off. What is this weak shit? Oh, for crying out loud. Seriously. I'll do it for you. Just give me the player the choice. I'll. It would be so overwrite. Oh, my gosh. Now she wants a conscience for the guy that tried to kill her and beat the holy hell out of her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ridiculous. Okay, so we beat him into submission and make him our travel slave? I mean, uh, I don't understand. Then where do I need to go? Where you come from? Where you take the slaves? Yeah, it looks like a movie though. And on this TV and game mode, you guys are in for one hell of a treat. Contrast is a whole hell of a lot better in game mode too, by the way, for anybody wondering. Not the same as when you're just in the regular modes. Not gonna lie, that first act kind of sucked. Because if they would have opened diving us into like sword fighting after being washed up on shore from all these guys trying to rush us, that would have been exciting. But like the walking for like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes for no reason, man, that's wasted time in a story. It makes people disengage quickly. That's probably the bulk of people that say this game is trash.
Oh, look at them doing the thing. The little cover art thing. But damn, does that look good. That doesn't even look like a game. Damn. That is insane. That looks like a person in the water for real, for real. Shit. They're going crazy with it. Mm. It looks very realistic, guys. Like, it really, really does. And now he's got this weird symbol on. Ah, now we're getting our juicy brightness from SDR, like we're supposed to be getting. I'm telling you, it looks amazing. Oh, man, it looks so good. She should have kicked his leg. Can I kick his leg? I want to kick his leg. Can I attack him in any way? No. No. He just He's Captain Hobbles over there. At least we can take joy in watching him hobble. It's this guy. Oh, he's still talking shit, too. See, that's why I couldn't be a captor. Like, there's no way I'd have this guy running his mouth like all that. All these rocks on the ground, like, come on, one of them would be going upside that head, or at least on that injured leg. You want to talk all that smack, I'll show you what's up. But, I don't know, games aren't made by people like me. They're made by people that, I don't know, have a more docile nature to them when it comes to people who literally tried to kill them. Like, the fact that this guy is leading her, I mean, I guess is a part of the story because how else was she supposed to get there but I, I don't know man I'd extracted the information she could have been like Batman and did like that interrogation shit too you know like where do we go like you know but no she was all nice and stuff and spared his life even though he doesn't deserve it I mean she was thinking but I don't know I could have made that call I probably would have made an entirely different call Visually, though, yeah, this looks like a person. It does not look like a video game character. I feel like I'm watching a movie. Look at that. I mean, look at the detail in the face. That's just damn impressive. Mm, we need more games that look like this. Okay, so... I guess that's our cue to find another way in, huh? Well, alright guys. I'm going to stop it there because it's about to be 30 minutes, even though most of it was me just running. But that's kind of what Hellblade 2 is like when you first play it. So, oh well. And I cut out the whole beginning of the game because that was all running and I thought that it would be more action-packed than what it was. So, yeah, take that for what you will. Um, I would say play this game on Game Pass. It's like a dollar to start, sixteen ninety nine every month after that on Xbox. Do that instead. No, Microsoft isn't paying me to say that. I think that's the smartest way to play this game. Don't buy this game. I think if you buy this game, it's kind of a waste. And also, like when it comes to games in general, just do Gamefly and buy their best subscription service that lets you kind of play day one so that you can try these games before you buy them. Because right now, this is like a running simulator. It, it's all I'm, I've kind of been doing. Walking and running and a lot of talking. And the combat was fun, though. Not going to lie, that was a lot of fun. And if the game gets better, I'll tell you about it. But right now, it's just walking and talking. So that's pretty much it. But it looks great on the Samsung S95D. If I get to a better part, then maybe I'll start to show more of it. But... That being said, let me know what you guys thought about game mode on the Samsung S95D with Hellblade 2, as requested. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.